Hi, this is Chris Ball from Mashpee TV, here with another Mashpee update. With me today is Jamie DeRuin and Sarah Rock, and they're going to talk to us about the uh, history of World Down Syndrome Day and National Rock Your Socks Day. Uh, ladies, thank you both for coming. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having us today. It's great to see you both. How about, I don't know how many people know about this event that's coming up, yeah. and I know that it got at least the National Rock Your Socks Day sort of started in the middle of the pandemic or the beginning of the pandemic and it got held, held up the full intent of it. But why don't you both give us the history of World Down Syndrome Day and Rock Your Socks and take us from the beginning for all of us. I mean, I know somewhat about it, but there's a lot I don't know. So educate myself and our audience. Absolutely, well thank you again for having us. Um, my name is Sarah Rock and that is not why we call it Rock Your Socks, it's a national campaign. Uh, World By the Down way, Syndrome I did Day. wear my socks. <laughs> I love that you wore your socks. <laughs> um, you can explain that. <laughs> yes, we were not quite that organized today, but we appreciate the effort for sure. So um, World Down Syndrome Day is celebrated every year on 321 because you have three copies of your 21st chromosome when you have Down Syndrome. So it's one extra than you would normally have two. So 321 becomes World Down Syndrome Day and it's celebrated obviously all over the world. There's one in 800 babies roughly are born with Down Syndrome. So there's a much larger community than most people realize. Um, so within 321, the national campaign got started years ago saying to wear colorful and mismatched socks to celebrate your support for World Down Syndrome Day. And that's because if you look at a chromosome chart, they look like little tiny colorful socks. So it became a campaign to do Rock Your Socks. And all over the world, you'll see people posting on Facebook with their mismatched socks or wearing them in the schools or throughout the community. So if you see people on the 21st of March wearing crazy socks, they're not just being strange, they are celebrating <laughs> for a reason. So. so are you saying because I'm wearing these today, I'm strange because it's not 321? <laughs> I like colorful mismatched socks, but some people might not understand what you're doing. <laughs> Absolutely. So back during the pandemic, we had started um, getting ready to have an event and a fundraiser for the Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress. The MDSC does a whole lot of advocating on a local level throughout the state all the way to Federal Hill. They're a wonderful organization that supports all of the people in Massachusetts with Down Syndrome at every age. So. I became a first call parent representative back when my daughter was born. She's now seven. Her name is Anna Rock and she's in the Mashpee school system and um, has Down syndrome. And so when we got immersed into the MDSC, they had asked me if I would become the parent representative here on the Cape um, to help co connect all of the local families. Um, both with resources and a group where people can ask questions and come together and have a community basis here on the Capes. So the, the, right now we know of over 80 families that have someone with Down syndrome living with them on the Cape. Wow. And obviously that population is growing every year. Um, and it's a wonderful organization, the MDSC. Uh, two years ago, the MDSC was actually able to pass a bill in uh, Massachusetts, which made Massachusetts the very first state to do so, guaranteeing the rights for higher education for people with Down syndrome and autism. So they expanded after 14 years on Federal Hill, they expanded it to Down syndrome and autism, and it was passed in Massachusetts, since several other states have done that as well. I have a question. Of course. MBSC? MD. MDSC, I'm yes. sorry. Mm -hmm. That's an acronym for? Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress. Okay, great, yeah. just so everybody knows. Absolutely, it just becomes a mouthful to say the whole thing, so. And I, they I are couldn't going. get to the second word. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair, totally fair. So the MDSC does a lot of things for us and we in turn have an event um, that we run together and raise money for them every year. So their biggest fundraiser some people know of in general as the Buddy Walk. It happens throughout the state and, and it used to be in multiple locations. But when COVID hit, 
they were unable to continue running four different locations and they weren't able to do the buddy walk for a couple of years. So they became virtual buddy walks and different things. In that sense, we wanted to start doing something on a local level as well. So we started running the World Down Syndrome Rock Your Socks Day um, event. So it starts with the school systems. Um, Thankfully, Officer Hennessy in Mashpee School Systems has been very helpful in making sure word gets out. We always send colorful mismatched socks to the schools. We have Anna's friends and classmates and her brother's friends and classmates all participate in wearing the crazy socks. Um, thankfully, two years ago, you all went into the schools and helped promote it and um, showed you know, footage of the kids wearing their socks to help us get the word out as well. And since our event has grown and grown, and Jamie can talk a little bit about that as well. I just want to throw out that we had uh, Officer Hennessy and her new pup, Cara, the comfort dog here the other day, and it's <laughs> my understanding that Cara is practicing wearing crazy socks. <laughs> I've been told she's going to wear crazy socks to the event. So so we'll see how that goes with a puppy. That's though. awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. So this March 21st, um, we are hosting our third annual event. And three years ago, my team partnered with Sarah's team and to offer support because Sarah had a huge vision that she wanted to do this on an annual basis and grow the event each year bigger and stronger. And you know, obviously we wanted to be a support and we had somebody on our team whose daughter also had Down syndrome. So it was just a great way to get involved and to be a support to Sarah and be able to help her with that vision. Um, and so, on March 21st, we will be hosting our third um, annual event at the Falmouth Navigator, and we'd love to invite everyone in the community to come out and join us and rock your crazy socks. Um, and it's you know donation-based um, to enter the event. There'll be tons of fun things going on. There'll be dancing and music and games and raffle prizes and silent auction items and food. Um, and it's just a wonderful, every year we're getting bigger and bigger and it really is such, it's really become a great event. People look forward to and call us asking, are you having it again this year and they, how they wanna be a part of it. So it's been great. Absolutely, and we have a big goal this year. We're looking to yep. raise $15,000. Wow. So in years past, the first year we did it, we ended up running, raising $10,000. We were able to cut the check. It was slightly over that, but it was roughly 10,000 mm -hmm. um, for MDSC, which That's was amazing. Awesome. Cause that was the first year um, outside of COVID. It was 2022. It was the first time we were actually not positive that people were gonna wanna come at that point because it was a big gathering in March of 2022 and people were still very nervous to be in a large crowd but we had yeah. roughly 175 people show up, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. Everybody was excited to be there and we raised a ton of money and it was great. Last year, as we all know with the recession and the craziness of the world, we still were able to raise over $8,000 and a lot of that is just because our expenses went up dramatically. Um, but we had a great showing. We had roughly 150 people last year, maybe a little bit less. Um, and then this year we're expecting at least the same, if not a little bit more, and we're yeah. looking to raise 15000 Great. And it's my understanding that 100% of this money goes to MD... SC. SC. 100%. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. All of the money raised goes to them. Uh, we do have sponsorship levels available for the event, um, for donations for the silent auction and the raffles. Um, so we're out in the community yep. looking for those donations quite consistently right now. You'll see both... Yep. Jamie's team and my team going out around Mashpee Commons or local businesses checking in to see who will donate things, which is great. And we're always looking for additional items to help raise those monies. So you're looking for donations for prizes. Correct. Yes. And also aren't there levels of donations for monetary? That's correct. We have bronze, gold, platinum sponsorships that are available. And anything that's not used for the cost of the event or the raffle prizes will go directly to the MDSC. So someone who wants to make a donation, how do they do this? Who do they contact? Yep. They're going to contact one of the two of us. They can call me or yep. Jamie yep. and we'll help them figure out the best way to donate. We have all different options for donations. Um, everything from Venmo and PayPal all the way to check cash doesn't matter. Basically all of those options are available. Do I have to show an ID if I use cash? No, not at all. <laughs> We're not going to check where your cash came from. <laughs> yeah. 
um, all right. So the event is from five to nine. Five to eight. Five, five oh, to excuse eight. me. Yes. Five to eight at the Navigator, which is part of the Portuguese American Club. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's off Sandwich Road, 55 Schumann. Yes. That's correct. Ab. I bailed you out. You Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the uh, all the proceeds will go to the Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress, the Thank MDSC. You. And it's my understanding that if you wear crazy socks on that night, yep. that you get a free raffle ticket? That's absolutely correct. Yes. So yep. there's more incentive to wear your socks. <laughs> absolutely. Plus, we'll probably take your photo and and yep. post some photos around of everybody wearing their crazy socks because we often have a large showing for Mashpee Fire and Mashpee Police and they're always trying to be the coolest with the crazy <laughs> socks. Yep. And they always compete against each other for everything, it seems. <laughs> that is very we, true. <laughs> we've filmed a lot of stuff. Both great departments, both get out in the community a lot. So uh, we enjoy them both. All right, anything else we need to know? I think we've covered it all. We hope to see everybody yeah. on March 21st to join us and come to the event. And if you want to sponsor in the interim, yeah. please feel free to reach out to one of the two of us. Absolutely. We'd love a big crowd and we hope to raise and hit our goal this year. Absolutely. All right. Great. Well, Jamie, Sarah, yeah. great talking to you both. Thanks for coming in and taking the time. Thank you for Thank having you. us. And uh, unfortunately, I won't be there that evening. Oh, I'm uh, out of town, but uh, we'll do do what we can to get people there for you. And uh, I hope you have a great event. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks again you. for coming. Thank you again. Thank you. This is Chris Ball from Mashpee TV. We'll see you for our, our next time.